Guys, welcome to this episode. Ready? You got this, bro. You got this. Guys, thank you so much. Oh. Guys, welcome to this episode. But before we get into this episode, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Hello Fresh. Fresh. And if you don't know, now well, you now know, you know. baby. <laughs> thank you, Hello Fresh, for sponsoring this video. Mm -hmm. You guys already know how much Silas and I love our Hello Fresh show. This is a big deal for us. Guys, we're all super busy all the time. I'm super busy. I'm a busy bee. Josh is super busy. And we need something that can help us not go to the grocery store. Ain't nobody want to wait in traffic? I'm talking about waiting on traffic. I'm just trying to receive it here I'm trying in to front eat. of my door. Cook it real quick. Put on my chef hat. Hey. Let's go, my man. Hey, ding dong. Who is it? It's Hello Fresh. Hello. How you doing? Come on in. Oh, thank you. Here you go, sir. Here you go. Hello. <laughs> You've got New Year's goals and HelloFresh is here to help you achieve them. Skip the grocery store and take control of your time and budget with delicious recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh's festive fare collection features limited time recipes made with seasonal produce and premium proteins. Guys, let's be real. We all want to save money and time this year. But did you know that HelloFresh helps you save money all year round? Question mark. In fact, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. Uh, uh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use the code LAPLATICA21 for 21 free meals plus shipping. Come on, man. We ain't paying for shipping around Ma here. Ma 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 no, my earring's in the way, but I'm not going to. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. I'm going to post a story real quick. Or Why does it feel like it's been a while since we've been in here? What was the last? What was the last episode? Your our brothers. Oh yeah, we shot that a while ago. No, I think it's just we waited an extra couple days. Yeah, because it's Saturday today. Oh, that's right. We waited a full Actually, week. I'm wrong. It's not Saturday. It's, it's Monday. Monday. And guess what? What? It doesn't suck at all. <laughs> Hashtag Mondays don't suck. Welcome everybody to another episode of La Platiquita. It's a special one today. It's a special one it today. It really is. It really is. It's a special <laughs> one with someone very special that means a lot to me and my corazoncito. <laughs> I've never seen you act like this, dude. You're blushing. Look at me. I'm You're blushing. All nervous. Can you see from my tan skin? <laughs> I can see a little bit. Caramelo skin. <laughs> caramel. I'm you say caramel olive. or caramel? Caramel. I like to say caramel. Say? Um, hold on. Caramel, caramel. <laughs> Caramel. Caramel. Yeah. I like to say caramel. It sounds more fancy. Caramel. I think caramel, caramel. sounds more fancy. Caramel. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, welcome to La Plática. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel. Right, Josh? Yes, sir. Make sure to hit that subscribe sub Subscribe to our channel. Make sure to like this uh, video. And uh, don't leave a comment yet because during the podcast, we'll ask you guys a couple questions. We'll hit you so leave, Yeah, we'll hit you something we're real, some, real, 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 real nice. <laughs> Oh, welcome to episode Josh 72 or 73? 73. 73. 73, my boy. Welcome to 2023. Yes, sir. That's good. Right? <laughs> you can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts or here on the wonderful world of YouTube where you can see our cute little faces and beautiful teeth. Everybody smile. <laughs> Everybody say cheat. Anyway, we have someone so special today. My fiance, Karen, a.k.a. I love Sarai, wow. a.k.a. Hello. the queen. The queen herself. The IG baddie. She's back. You me nervous. <laughs> Since when was the last time you were, you were on? It's been, it's it's been, been a, a long time. I want to say like even before you guys officially started doing it together, yes. I still really wasn't on. Yeah. So it's been like about a year almost. Someone, someone go look. Someone go look. You'll find it in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I want to say it's been at least uh, like eight months or so since you've been on. Definitely. Yeah. You good, puppy? You are you doing some like futuristic shit or what's going on? Oh, over the, here? the focus. Oh, autofocus. Oh, it's there you go. There you go. I'm good now. Yeah. Sorry. Do you normally do autofocus? Yeah, it, it, it just tracks it's, our faces. Yeah. It tracks your eye actually. You know why yours tracks your eye only? You notice that it's only Karen's face and then my face, but it tracks your actual eyeball. You see it? Look. Yeah, I see it. Why is that? You see how it's on your eye? Oh, other eye. <laughs> yeah. Because how do I wink my other eye? Wait, what eye is it? Was oh, it this eye? Yeah, no, no. Let me see. Do it again. Why is that so hard to do? <laughs> uh, so the only reason why it actually tracks your eye. Sorry, guys. You guys, I'm, I'm geeking out. What but, a nerd. Um, <laughs> it's because this lens is more high tech than Ooh, the rest of them. This gotcha. is a 50 millimeter R F lens. Wow. State of the art. Of course. You can't even get it in Area 51. <laughs> I don't even... I don't, I don't, People try. They can't. I don't, I don't they even fail. think the Pentagon... The Pentagon. <laughs> the Pentagon uh -huh. has this lens. They don't have it. Anyways. We got it, though. Yes, but thank you, babe, for, for, for coming. You were very highly requested. <laughs> every episode you get requested. I'm not even really? joking. Every single episode. Yeah. There's a comment about you. Maybe I should start you. my own platica. Yeah. 
Easy Whoa. now. <laughs> <laughs> Easy <Whoa>. now. <laughs> Pump the brakes. Whoa. Just, kidding, just, just be on ours. Just be on ours. Yeah, just be on ours. I'm honored to be here. It's exciting to be back. It's yeah. been a while. I love that. Am for I you? good? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Much better. Um, very excited to be here. It's been a long time, and I tune in every Monday, occasionally Thursdays, occasionally. but I I tune in and I enjoy this bond you guys have. I enjoy all the platicas, the guests. It's been good. Are you proud Thank of you. us? Very, very, very <laughs> proud. A lot of the questions that we- uh, I saw yeah, that. Were, were like asking like, Karen, are you proud of them? Like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I actually always tell them because you'll tell me like stuff he's doing or whatever you guys are working on, even like sponsorships. And I'm like, hell yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Like I get super pumped for him. And more because I feel like you coming on with him God, I'm really excited to like do this and like not take breaks anymore. <laughs> Sorry, <calling that> <laughs> <out>. <laughs> not take breaks anymore and really like go hard with it. Yeah. So it's been it's been like a good duo. You guys are definitely a good pair together. Yeah. Dynamic duo. Absolutely. This is a trifecta right here, though. It is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is like OG this stuff. This is OG shit right here. Yeah. This is like us 2020. Yeah. Do yeah. It. I, the last time I, I was driving over here and I asked, I was like, hey, when's the last time you were here? And she goes... I think before Josh was, you know, officially yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, damn, because you helped me paint it, remember? You helped oh, me paint yeah. the room. Oh, yeah. And then I think <laughs> we did one more episode with Josh. Yeah. And then that's it. Yeah. She hasn't been here in seven months. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She walked in and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little stale in here. Is it? Is it? <laughs> It's, it might be. If she thinks that <laughs> all of our guests probably think that, <laughs> damn, I got the candle rolling though. Come on, <laughs> we're trying here. We're it smells trying a little here. better, but I yeah. came in and I was. I immediately looked under the table. And Don't I'm look like, under the table. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not look under the table. So I've never said this. There's in, secrets under this table. 100 percent. It looks like a party's been going on. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of party. Gum a lot of party and gum and tequila. Um, do you have any gum? You have any gum? I do. Do you, you want to? I know. No, chew for a little bit, and then I think she's got to put it under the table too. It's only yeah. right. Oh, really? Yeah. No, not not no, no, not like you have to. No, your gum that's yeah. in your mouth, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying for her to chew yeah. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like enjoy it first, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but whenever, whenever you want to spit it out, let just, us know. Let us know. <laughs> give it to me, nice and juicy, and I'll put it <laughs> down there. Okay. Yeah. Nice and juicy. Are you good right there? You want to get a little closer to me? No, I'm, I'm like, well, I don't like feel nervous. I, it's just been a while, I guess. Are you nervous? Why? A little bit. I don't know what you guys are gonna ask me. <laughs> oh, we're gonna ask you questions, girl. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm just. It's not gonna be nothing crazy. Okay. Okay. At all. We never do anybody dirty like that. No, never. No, I, no, I'm not that. I'm just like I don't know. Because I was like, what are the questions like? And like you, you posted oh, yesterday. We got a lot of questions. And he said, Crazy I'm not amount. telling you. You're gonna find out tomorrow. So yeah. I said, okay. But no, you know the, the thing that I always tell people about Karen and like the people that her family that follows her yeah. and like family as in like social media family. Mm -hmm. Um, all of them are so respectful. Like they, everybody that like follows Karen, hella yeah. respects Karen. Yeah. There's yeah. no like, I never saw one question that was like trying to disrespect. They're like trying to get uh -oh. dirty or like trying to like say anything like, you know, trying to get down to the needy greedy. Yeah, yeah no, no, not at all. Nothing. No. It's always very respectful with Absolutely. Karen. No, I just, and I, I just get scared she... with your guys' questions. Cause I'm like, what are you guys going to throw in there? What am, am I going to have to answer some funny ass shit? <laughs> one thing was really cool. Cause I, obviously like I haven't, we haven't done this where we ask people like what they have questions for you. So I got to kind of see the back end on how people present receive you mm -hmm. guys in the relationship and stuff like that a lot of people would admire you karen oh. like you are really i don't know like a role model for people and it was just really cool to see That's that cool. and well, a, a lot of it was just like love just like people saying that they they love you and they Aww. uh just excited that you're being love on, to hear on the that yeah. thank you guys <laughs> yeah a lot of questions were about the uh the, wait before we the wait wedding. before hold on no, no, no. are we gonna do a shot no <laughs> That's Honestly, what, I didn't think she was gonna be down, but you already know me. Fucked up that you ask every guest to have a shot and not me. Yeah, I what the hell? Hold on, hold small. on. <laughs> you can't say that seven minutes in. You don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, okay, okay. I take it back. Look, <laughs> I got the burrito right here. Is, oh, is it ready? It's ready to go. My did you pour bad. it up? Did you pour up the seventy in that? You did not. <laughs> no, not yet. No, not yet. I was gonna tell Karen. What? Uh, what are your thoughts on? Um, uh, uh, on, oh, <laughs> I didn't understand what you said. I was like, ma. <laughs> Sorry. Duh. We're not even saying weird words anymore, bro. What, what are your thoughts on ma? What do you mean, thoughts? Like, what I think about him? Like, are you no, saying No, the actual word. <laughs> Wait, what? The actual ma word. Oh, oh. I not ma-ba. 
I'm talking about Matt. Ah. It's like one of my thoughts, and I'm like, Matt. um, he's cool, I guess. Oh, <laughs> no, not <laughs> she was saying, like, uh, That's why I was like, what are you asking me? I'm not sure. What are you cute. Real uh, cute. That, that word. The word okay. Um, I like it. It's cool. It's your guys' thing. Sometimes you guys are, the way you all say it is a little interesting. Yeah. Matt, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I think one time she was watching a podcast, and, she, and I was like, I, I hit a nasty one. <laughs> I had, like not not like in front of her like on the video. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, know yeah. what episode you it was. I had a, you were on fire. I had a stupid nasty. Uh, That's like, a rarity. Like crazy. When those come, they come. Yeah. And they're and rare. And she saw it. She goes, "Don't ever say that again. <laughs> like, don't be cringy." I was like, "What?" No, it was really like. Uh. Yeah. yeah, it was like. Also money, like, also money. No, but then yeah. sometimes you guys will say it, and then you're like competing who says it better. <laughs> And then yeah. it could be a little much, but I'm like, much. There's stages to my boy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how it, it started, started off. Casual. My boy. Yeah. My boy. Yeah. And then. I can't even say my Imme- boy anymore. Immediately it went to my ba. It no, no, ma- it went to my. Ma- ma- yeah. My ba. <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then it goes to. Ma- ma- and then literally like the most ultimate one is like. Chill out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's my favorite one, bro. It just goes That's stupider final four. and stupider <laughs> <Final> and stupider. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, uh, I, I kid you not, verbatim, I was going to say this. Verbatim. Um, I was going to say, I know we're like eating clean right now. Yeah. And like, by the way, round of applause for us. Week one. You guys have been on it? Complete. Yeah, not Week you. One. Not me. Not me. I'm not bad. I haven't yeah, like, You're but, never bad, though. I'm never super bad. all you do is eat the same shit every day. <laughs> fresh <laughs> grill. <laughs> fresh grill. But fresh grill, waba. Waba, flame boiler. That's all he That's eats. it. <laughs> so, uh, for anyone who maybe doesn't know this, I... You started eating clean like last year or so. We went strong, both yeah, of yeah. us. Everything was going good. And then right around end of summer, leading into, I guess, like fall, October, all that time, uh, we just didn't give a fuck anymore. We're yeah, like, that, that done and not yeah. eating this. I'm yeah. not, I didn't even move my body. I think I moved my body like five times in like six months. Um, we just live life. Yeah. Jack in the box, Chick fil A. We were just doing it all and you no regrets. Yeah, no regrets. You got to do it. Because it only, I feel like it encourages you more. Like now that you guys are on, like you guys are just more locked in. Yeah, because we have a reason now to yeah. like get in really good shape. Yeah, but, exactly. But it, this week I felt was pretty easy. I was like, Week one? We're good. Yeah. I mean, I did go out one night and I did have, I said I was having two shots. I didn't even tell you. I told Ashley, I was like, I'm going to have two shots today. I'm good at two shots and just like water on the side. Yeah. And then like two shots in, I was like, maybe I could do five. <laughs> I think five is five? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when she got home, I was like, "You didn't have two shots." It's like, yeah, bro. yeah. But when I come back from La Plática, she goes, "Did you drink?" I was like, "Yeah, I had a couple, <laughs> a couple, like six And she goes, "How many?" I was like, "That's like two And then she'll watch it later. I'm like, "Yeah, I wasn't two was like, Okay, so you pull, you pull the you on, you uh, you on me and the man. The thing is that like, when he comes home, he reeks. Like, really? I feel like I could smell it. You know, some yeah. people I have, in life really have that power. Yeah, yeah. her nose is. Re- Ridiculous. I can just walk in the room. <laughs> like two months. I mean, they walked in and I was like, <laughs> You're drinking. It's no. honestly no, the trash. just as good as a dog's nose. <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's just as good as a dog's nose. Damn. I can smell anything. So I'm always like, Even bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she could. <laughs> she can smell uh, bullshit. Yeah. So yeah, she came back and I was like, You didn't have only two shots, but cool, live your life. Like, it's cool. Yeah. So what I was going to say is like, Yeah, we stopped like in October, like yeah. eating clean and stuff. I mean, we still kind of ate clean, but right. like we obviously ate really bad too. <laughs> We're we super, dashing every day. Super enjoyed ourselves. But that's the thing. I told myself, I was like, I'm not going to fucking, I'm not, sorry, rewind, no F words. You can't say F words. Oh, that's right. Uh, we can say it. <laughs> uh, <Fuck. laughs> not that much though. Okay. Just little fucks, not big fucks. I'm just saying like little fucks. <laughs> say ducks. Little ducks. Little ducks. ducks. Yeah, like duck. Uh, when when I started it last year, and I've, I've, I felt like I've told the whole world because I keep repeating myself. I feel like I am. Um, I started in uh, late August of last year when I lost a lot of weight. And then, well, let's just say September 1st. And then I, so I was clean for the whole, like every month towards Christmas and Super. New Year's, yeah. you know? He super. wouldn't break. I couldn't even get him to take a bite of so this year, something. No, Dedicated. Then, yeah, super. And then this this year coming around, well, like this these holidays, I was like, I'm never going to live my life like that anymore. Mm-hmm. There's no way I'm not going to, like October, November, December, throughout my life have been the coolest months ever because Same. there's always shit going yeah. on. It's always family time and there's always like really cool events and really cool parties and Really cool family function, just everything. Christmas. We had a lot of weddings. Halloween. This year too. Yeah, weddings. Like everything is always like, you know, like there's no Active. way I'm ever gonna like like um limit myself during the holidays. And that and, and that goes for next year. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. But I do believe like after New Year's and things like that, I think it's cool back to be get back get yeah. back on track. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you guys have a big year. 
So oh, you guys yeah. need to be looking snatch. Yeah, we do have a big year. We have our, we have a, we both have a bachelor trip to go in, in February. February, and Prior then we have to our, yours, right? Yeah, yes. and then we have our own bachelor and bachelorette party um, in May, and then we have the wedding, and then I have my bridal shower. So there's like a wow. lot going on that like yeah. I have a reason to not be yeah um, healthier. But I was telling Sebastian today, I was like, I feel better today. Like mm -hmm. I felt like. My inflammation's going down. Yeah. Because you guys, the egg rolls from Jack in the Box were hidden in my house. Like every single, like every other day, I kept ordering Jack in the Box. Wow. Don't do you know do why. the secret sauce? How no. do you, what's your order? What's your Jack in the Box order? Oh my, it's so, it's so stupid, but it's so good. <laughs> it's two tacos. Okay. Lots of ranch. Okay. Curly fries. Love it. Uh, egg rolls. Yeah. And then some, occasionally an Oreo shake. Ooh, okay. No burger. I know, I know go, him. What's I'm, his? No. Uh, his is a uh, junior bacon cheeseburger. Number six, <laughs> and then he'll get the he'll get another burger. I think it's the jumbo jack or just like one of like the little sandwiches, and he'll put a taco in the middle of it. I still haven't done that yet. <clears throat> so good. He'll do that. Lots of ranch, lots of like sauces on the side. Yeah, lots of ranch. Got to do. Like, I've told you before. I look at them straight. Your body and ranch in their eye sockets, and I say, "Give me all your ranch. I don't care if you get in trouble. Get fired. <laughs> Give me all your buttermilk ranch." Yeah. Jack said so. <laughs> Jack, 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 Jack. Occasionally you'll get fries, but it's usually like that. Yeah, curly yeah. fries. Set a little order. If you get <laughs> if you get regular fries at Jack, you cannot be trusted. Is that the last of that, dude? That's the last of the mandala, homie. Do we have another bottle? Oh shit. Is there? Yeah, the spiky one. Oh yeah. Your feet. Did we we killed the this whole bottle? I did on not the know we episode. did that. Yeah. You know why I was Wait, this I was editing a brand new bottle. I was editing the video, and 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 ducking Brandon, <laughs> he killed it. He he opened it and he put maybe like three shots pouring in his coffee. You didn't see that starting the episode? No, in between. Oh my god! Wow, <laughs> what a man! What a man! And I kind of turned me on. <laughs> Goals. <laughs> Where's your cup at? Uh, you can just grab one of these. But yeah, so anyways, the diet. I didn't think you wanted to take a shot either. I, I was going to ask you. I'm actually you. surprised. That's why. I, I was going to ask you, but I, I didn't think you wanted to drink. You know, I, respe I, mean, I, like, you, I respect you. <laughs> I didn't want to, actually. We I had a lot of people but, requesting but two shots, Karen. But I know this warms me up. Get yeah. you going. And it's... it's. And I like two shots, One o'clock, I think it's good. So. I like two shots, Karen. Do you? She's a little wild. She's a little freaky... <laughs> Naked. I'm right here, guys. <laughs> right uh, here. This is all yours. <laughs> Don't tell me what God, the God, I'm time. single. But yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but so I'm single. <laughs> honestly, like 13 years together, we're still attracted to each other. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing. I get. I mean, she gets sexier every year. <laughs> and I mean, look at me. I don't even have to say anything. You gotta say nothing. Hey, cheers, y'all. Cheers. Are these washed? Uh -huh. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask those kind of Karen, questions, I know, Karen. you just go with the flow, okay, girl. Can I get a Z? Yeah, like, just, just know that even if that wasn't washed, that was mine, though. Okay, right. Yeah. Just don't put that in there, then. Let me ask you. There's no edits. <laughs> There's no edits. What it's the fuck? Raw. Duck. What do you mean, duck? Oh. <laughs> uh, you want a Coke Zero? Where are you going? Uh -uh. You want a Coke Zero, my boy? I'll do a Dr. I had one of those in a while. There's no DPZs anymore. Okay, I'll do a Coke Zero. We gotta restock on the DPZs. You want somebody? Wait, I see a DPZ on the far right. Was that already open? Yeah, it's already I got open. That. You gave me a half. It's all good. I was going to give you a Coke Zero. Here, switch me. No, no, no. No, just switch me. It's a different tequila. That's disgusting. Oh, you're right. Oh, my God. You don't want to try this one, though? No, I want the big one. The mandala's the, the good, mandala's though. The mandala's pretty good, Karen. Mandala it's, tastes, yeah, it's it, sweet. Oh, it's sweet, yeah. Yeah. Dude, and my phone keeps going off. I don't know what to do. Put the phone on oh, silence. Ya lo puse. Thank you, sir. Dang. Open the Coke Z from my Haina? Wow. What a gentleman. Thank you. Well, Thank you, Josh. Here, the combination boy. of coffee and tequila together. I'm excited to see what <laughs> happens to my stomach. Okay, Karen, uh, to you being on the number one Latino podcast in the world, just so you know, we never said that. Never said that. Um, and thank you for coming. I know you have a busy schedule. I know that back at home, it's it's busy. You made time for the number one Latino podcast in the world. But just so you know, we never said that. No said And thanks for being here. And you look great. Thank, thank you for you. dress. You know, you always dress really nice. But thank you for... Anyways. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what a beautiful time. He touch. looked my ass in my pants today. So. And, <laughs> cheers, bro. And, and to a beautiful year with beautiful yes, uh, family and friends to it. and prosperity and Charity. to our wedding. To, to our wedding. wedding. Charity. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Bobby. Toast. Love you guys. Y la que no es puta no disfruta. That was good. Yeah, that's good. 1800, my boy. It's not bad. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. But yes, Karen, we actually have a couple questions for you today. What's cracking? Um, this episode is going to be more like about you. It's all you. Normally, we have a, like, like last time I think you were on, we did uh, This is 30. Mm -hmm. And we talked about being 30 years yeah, old. That, oh, that's right. That was yeah, a Yeah, that was a really cool episode. Yeah. I was actually going to bring that up because, you know, when you said like, we're still attracted to each other. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, yeah, like, I feel like, I feel like I'm at my peak. Yeah. And you're at your peak. Well, actually, no, you're probably... Our peak I'm is gonna peaking. last. Our peak is gonna last a while. Yeah, yeah. It's a long I'm, peak. I'm still peaking over but here. But for everybody at home, I feel like when you're 30 years old, yeah. and then like 30 to 35, 40. Yeah. Let's just say 30 to 40. That's like I feel like the most coolest time ever. Yeah. 30 and thriving. Yeah, it's yeah. like I, I, I feel like I get I wiser. Like people don't really know who they are until they're 30. Yeah. When yeah. you're 20, you're still figuring it out. You're still kind of all over the place. Even if you like got it together somewhat. You're, you still don't know who you are. You right. change. People change. So, And when statistically, 30, yeah. Well, sorry. Go, oh, ahead. go ahead. No, I was going to say statistically, when you're 30, 40, the people around you are the people that are meant to be around you. Mm. Period. Yeah. Per. Do people still dab? <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah. Ish. You do. <laughs> you do. Yeah. <laughs> you dabbed yesterday randomly when we were in this all in the hallway. Okay. And someone's just like dabs. Yeah. And we're like, okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i agree i i was actually i went on a like a little walk yesterday and i was like thinking about wait what <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no a I bachelor <laughs> something like i just like to you know what i mean just walk just, just he's getting soak stuff it in, in. Baby. where'd you it walk in. that you didn't have no gas no <laughs> i was trying to go to the gym but the gym was closed because i was gonna go to the gym like at 10 and the gym was like closed up so i was like you know i'm just gonna go oh, for a it walk was, it yeah was it was closed um just to be active but i was just thinking about like how i was in my 20s it's like crazy how much you evolve like you don't just really like taking a moment to like look back and seeing how your life has changed and how much you've grown as a person it's wild like you don't really think you do until you really kind of sit in it and think about it mm -hmm. it's crazy mm -hmm. it's crazy I, but i love being 30 love it me too i think i started to enjoy life right around like 27 28 me too and then going to my 30s i was so excited but i do remember when i turned 25 i think i told the story before i had like a meltdown where i was like i'm 25 i'm halfway to 30 what the what yeah. the duck yeah like <laughs> <Thank> what <you>. <laughs> and like what is life it, you, i kind of got scared at that age just feeling like time's running out yeah and feeling like i don't have my life together i still live at home oh, there was wow. just all this like confusion and yeah, right around like 27, 28, I started to like enjoy my life a little more. Things were getting different. And then 30 was just chef's yeah. kiss. It was yeah. great. Great 30 birthday. Um, and it's been good ever since. And I feel like now I'm entering a new phase of my life where I'm about to be a wife. Mm. I want kids. Mm. Like we're, we're ready. So does Sebas. Period. Yeah. He's, he's you guys, around this time next year, I may be pregnant. So. <laughs> Wow. I swear. Next time she's on the potty, she's just pregnant. I'm, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> <laughs> I need you here, champ. You gotta deliver, baby. I'm ready to be a deal. Hopefully I work. <laughs> oh, never we mind. had this conversation last time, which was uh <laughs> Kind of interesting. Yeah, it's, it's an it, interesting it, conversation. It's something I think about. Yeah, because you guys are you, are, you, are you thinking about what I'm thinking about? Yeah. Well, yeah. what is it? Well, I mean she hasn't been pregnant in 13 years. Ever. 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 Uh, Th in my life <laughs> in her life not 13 years unless i don't know about another kid that she had 13 years ago yeah prior oh no <laughs> don't say that you don't say that uh no i it's something i th i think about i don't know yeah. if you think about it but like i think about it more Cause now because i've had uh, sorry i'm pull out king and i have safe sex <laughs> okay okay good so i've never really tried to i never have done that yeah i've never I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. You know? Mix ingredients. Gold for the gold. Yeah, mix ingredients <laughs> together. I've never done that. So I don't I'm I'm actually excited to see what's gonna happen. I, I hope that everything happens yeah. uh nice and you know how it should yeah. but i don't know because i've never tried it so it's something i'm really i, I continue Same. to think about <laughs> yeah and i think the girl thinks about that yeah, too because yeah. she's never you know obviously she's never done it. i think for me growing up 
I've always wanted to be a mom. Mm-hmm. And then there was a point in my life that I really wasn't interested anymore. Really? I think I had like passed a certain age and I felt like it wasn't going to happen between us. And then I was like, you know what? We're just career focused right now. It's not on our mind. And then we just both kind of like didn't think about it. And he's always wanted kids. I was always the one that was like, yes. And then there was a moment that I said, you know what? Maybe it's just not for me. And then now that we're getting married, I'm like, okay, I want this. Like, yeah. I'm ready for this new chapter of my yeah. life. I'm like, yeah. so excited. Mommy content. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. I'll still crazy. be a makeup girl. I think you guys going to be great parents. I think you guys going to be amazing parents. Yeah. I I I think we are too. He's yeah. really good with like my nieces and nephews and kids. And and family. And, yeah. I feel like I'm good, really good with kids. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. We got it in us. Do you yeah. guys want, I know Seba talks about like wanting kids, like going for it immediately. Are you kind of on the same yeah. boat? Wow. Yeah, wow. I feel like at this point we've been together for so many. We just hit 13 years. Yeah. Ooh, let's take another shot for that one. I'm down. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked I'm right now. Dude. <laughs> no, do you, do you know the, the, the legend and the tales of Two Shark Aaron? I've only heard, I've never witnessed Wait, nor the, experienced. The last time I got Did we not really. Take- the last time I got really lit on my YouTube video, my hair was in the same exact style and I'm uh-huh. a little scared right now. Wait, oh shit. <laughs> Did it change after huh? when she does her hair, she goes like this, too shocking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right now for another one. Game and then time, I'm done. baby. Two, right. two shots of my max today. One more. Yes. Um <laughs> I think that I <laughs> want to laugh. <laughs> I want to try to mix ingredients. Uh-huh. Like when we go to our honeymoon. Yeah. Which is immediately after the wedding. Wow. Very exciting. Do you guys know where you guys are going? Is this has this been? You know what? I thought about it. I haven't told them yet, but we're just gonna buy a one way ticket to Europe and figure it out. Ooh, I love that. Like, well, not figure it out. Like, have it planned out, but one way ticket, and we're not coming back until we are ready we're, to or come like back. We're ready to come back. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want to limit myself. Like, okay, we have just one week out here, two weeks out here, or what if I want to start there for three weeks? What yeah. if we end up going, you know, hopping from I don't know, Paris to Italy, and then we go to Spain? Like, I what if we decided we want to stay a little longer? Yeah. So. We're just going to live our best lives and enjoy yeah. it because... We're going to have to pre-record a lot. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about. Like, <laughs> Me too. I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> pre-record like eight episodes just honestly, in case. Honestly, the whole... I'm like, damn, you're going to have to come with us, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> just for the podcast. <laughs> honestly, the whole month of June, well, I feel like he's going to technically be off. Not really, but just pre-record and... Yeah, maybe. okay. Bet. Okay. Twice a week. Yeah. We can do that. Oh, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah. Come on, Big Cheers, Doc. Yo. It's Kushaw Karen. Full effect. Come on, Big Doc. Come on, Big Doc. Uh-uh. Cheers, babe. Oh shit. <laughs> Chetas. Oh my god. How you like our burrito? You can't do this without like tequila, a podcast. Nah. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's been a potty wadi too hotty that I don't that I don't drink tequila. We literally always have a shot. Technically, no shot. this was our first week eating clean, so I guess this week doesn't really count because we were like and introducing healthy food right. again. Yeah. Yeah. We always drink on every <laughs> podcast. I just want to admit that. Okay, even, I know this. E- e- even when, even when um, we don't show it, we at least take one shot before, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And then sometimes we're like extremely hungover. It's very rare that we come in extremely hungover. Um, and then before the podcast, we have to drink a lot so we don't feel hungover. So we just feel like leveled. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do this sober, honestly. I mean, look, I was a little, I was a little no, shy when I got sober. here and now I'm like. <laughs> no, you can definitely do it sober, Karen. No, I know you can. I don't even like to drink that much. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Seven's face Karen. didn't move just his eyes. Hey, he was just like. <laughs> I don't like to drink that much. But then I, again, everybody on social media calls me too shy, Karen. <laughs> I have an, a nickname. <laughs> how did that even like. Come about again, two shot. During Karen? the pandemic, we were because I started calling you two shot Karen. We, we were doing cooking videos yeah. during the pandemic. Oh, I know why. And I would we would take shots to warm up, and it would take me two shots to get like going full. Yeah, hundred percent, like wild. Um, and then there was one episode that the one where I had my hair like this, the flower. Uh, well, no, not the flower. Sorry, the, the strawberry, strawberry making chocolate Valentine's bu- uh, bu- What are they called? Bu- bu- I'm gonna go bouquets. ahead and link myself bouquets. down below and link that video because it is like the funniest video. I don't think I've ever watched it again because I was so embarrassed that I had to convince her to I post didn't it. Want, I was didn't want to post it. She was ducking faded, dude. <laughs> Trash, bad, bro. I didn't watch th- this. This is. I don't think anyone knows this part other than like telling it on stories. But for anyone who watches that video, you guys, the level of drunk that I was. I don't think I've ever been that drunk on a video, at least in person. Yes. But like (laughs) on a video, no. And I was making strawberry flower bouquets for like Valentine's Day. And the thing is you have to let them sit in the fridge 
or freezer for 45 minutes. So we, we were already pretty lit. I was drinking wine to start with, and then we took two or three shots in between. We let it pretty much get frozen or whatever it's called. And then in that 45 minutes, a lot happened. I was t- Millie was there like filming us, and she started taking yeah. shots with me. We got Ever ducking been- faded, bro. You too? Yeah, but like not like her. <laughs> gotcha. No, but he goes 45 minutes in. He says, Karen, you have to finish this video. You know that, right? Yeah, and she forgot about it. I she, said, oh. she, she <laughs> she's moving on with her life. She didn't remember. She was just waiting for her chocolate bouquet. <laughs> she goes, I was like, what? what, what? He goes, oh, what video? <laughs> so like Two Shot Karen came about because we started doing these like really fun cooking um pandemic videos but like not pandemic videos but like cooking it was videos, during the pandemic and we the drink pandemic. and we, we talk and videos. we do really fun videos <clears throat> with like crazy recipes like the best one was like like the maruchan oh with the cup God. noodles yeah, yeah, with okay. the carne asada yeah. and shit oh it was bomb and we used to drink it there would be really funny videos and i would edit them really nicely oh my god to be honest it was like an, a lot of my subscribers told me they think me until this day for those videos because they're like they got me through hard times and made the time pass by for us we would rewatch them so as much as it made them happy it made us happy yeah. at home creating it because we were also like going through it with everyone Absolutely. and a part of me i was like i don't want to do my makeup I, I don't know what to be excited about right now like it's a scary time in life but at the same time i was like we're gonna do our best um, so we were doing our best to just create fun content that was different and unique and we're just like everyday people we are not the best chefs so we did our best and had a good time and we would just get drunk. I remember yeah. watching those videos those videos are really fun to watch yeah they were cool and they were fun to edit too. yeah super um <laughs> But yes, uh, the name came about because I she was like, do the intro today. And I would do the intro. And I'm like, hey, welcome everybody to uh, Cooking with Two Shot Karen. <laughs> so, you know, and people who Master knew. chef. Yeah. And I'm the assistant chef. <laughs> Seva. And um, yeah, so everybody like caught on. And people yeah. were calling her Two Shot Karen. Because every time Two Shot Karen makes an appearance, it's a great appearance. And it's a good time. <laughs> good vibes and things like that. But um, yeah, so it's Two Shot Karen because... All she needs is two shots. Activated. And and, and she's go time. <laughs> she's, right now she, I'm she, activated. She, she's she's like she's like a jumper when you when when you first start on. And then, and then the little silver tooth kid turns it off. <laughs> You're the silver tooth kid. <laughs> I used to be. No, Brandon is. Brandon, Brandon is. is for sure. You know what's funny for though? Sure. What's kind of cool about creating that on YouTube is when I meet my subscribers out at a club or whatever they'll always buy me a shot i'm like damn i'm like 40 in like i cannot like <laughs> not 40 just kidding i meant like 40 shot can <laughs> i meant like two are already and my system are three and like i'm like 11 oh my gosh <laughs> and they're like come on two shot karen and i'm like i already got a lot but okay yeah we will so we, it's cool sometimes we're like at restaurants and like a lot of you guys back at home like you guys can you guys will see us and you guys give us a drink or a shot and then like we're trying to like not drink that day or things like that <laughs> and then you know we look at each other like this and we're like we did it to ourselves it. <laughs> you know nobody it's will fun, blame though. you guys it's yeah so fun. but at the end of the day like we can't complain yeah it's, 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 yeah. A, it's an amazing feeling yeah. you know how it is oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i love it <laughs> so we're about to get into these questions that All people right. you is, know, it, is it question time it's it's definitely question time. karen are you ready i'm ready um people want to know two shots flowing you want another shot just to like no, I'll wait a little bit. Are you not activated? I'm activated, but I'm scared I'm going to be too activated in slurring. So let me wait a little bit. You think so? That's good right there. Maybe. I don't know. That's good right there, baby. Yeah. Um, I'll wait a little bit. <clears throat> Pace myself. Okay. Whatever you want, okay? Okay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that you cleaned your ring today. I did. You did, huh? She got it all shiny. Still broke. Stop. <laughs> You're stupid. Still broke from that. All right. People want to know, Karen. They're very interested, Karen. They want to know, Karen. Karen! Karen! <laughs> Tell us about your first collab ever. Ooh. Okay. I'm um, telling you right now, La Platica fam always got the best questions. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My first collab was. Hold on. You know what? My. There was one collab that maybe a lot of people don't know about, and it was with the brand called Girlactic. I you remember, remember Girlactic. You took of my photo. Yeah. Um, I created a lip color with her. This was in 2015 or 16. Oh, wow. We had lived in downtown LA. We took a photo in our den that we had there, and that was my first ever collab, and it got me interested into like creating more with brands. Yeah. And that, that was one that was like so 
um it was a smaller brand and at the time i i think i had like a pretty good following but not a lot of people knew about it because it wasn't like it wasn't like a big brand where it got out to everybody but it was my first time ever doing, creating something and i was so excited about it and i was thrilled to like put my name on a mm. product and a color and that <clears throat> right there like inspired me to want to do another collab yeah and then my after that collab i'm all wait one or two collabs whatever you Go want to the next one yeah, yeah. okay Moving on. this and then is the, your episode so for anyone who doesn't know that was my first one but okay. the, the major first one was with color pop oh and that's the one in i believe it was in 2016 as well and that was the first time i ever had worked with like a brand that big on that scale and i created a palette wow. uh three lip colors oh, shit. lip liners that went viral oh, like wow. it was it was a, a moment sick. it was yeah. a moment yes was it one of those well, moments where you felt like you were like okay i'm, I'm doing something here just something's happening in my life yeah there's a shift there's a oh, major yeah. shift here uh, that one was like major the one shift. that like major inspired shift. me and you know what it was seeing people having my product mm -hmm. um even at meet and greets bringing the product for me to sign Whoa. i was like what the hell i get like imposter syndrome because i'm like no like i'm not anybody like i try to downplay myself but i'm like no I worked so hard for that collab yeah. and I worked so hard for everything. So fuck yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think there's a difference between like having imposter syndrome and being like, um, I don't know, I guess like not, not embarrassed by it, by the situation because like you want to be able to be honest with yourself. Like, yo, I'm right. doing something, but you still want to remain that Humble. humility. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I never want to be like, oh, yes. Or right, like, right. Oh, I can't right now. And like, yeah. I will never ever be like that. But um, that collab made me feel like I was important and yeah. I was somebody like someone just outside of social media and i remember like when that launch i couldn't believe how beautiful the packaging was it was definitely a, a different experience because the first one was like intro into that world of collabs and i was like wow this is so cool and so unique and it was such an honor to work with galactic and she's still thriving if you guys haven't checked her products out she's amazing that's amazing lip products um but then working into ColourPop after that i landed like a few more deals with them like wow. another collab and another one and arriba i know you girls have arriba that was the best red lipstick till this day I thought she was just saying arriba. No. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a, I was like, arriba. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Take a shot. Arriba, me go. <laughs> Take a shot. <laughs> Take a shot for that. <laughs> I'll take a shot. Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. <laughs> he needs a shot for that one for not knowing what he does. Yeah, no. Um, and not only that, but I was, it was such a fun process. And I think the girls that were, um, that were associated with ColourPop at that time. Jordan and Jordan Sharon. And Sharon um amazing amazing people actually would they would be really good to be okay on the so they, okay so jordan yeah. and sharon they're they're, they're super they ran cool. color pop and they ran that brand they now own insert name hair have you heard of them mm -mm. okay so um, i wouldn't think <laughs> you never know um it's a hair extension company but they have everything and they, these girls are so i mean intelligent when it comes to marketing social media branding like i would hire them if I had a brand, I would hire them as like a outsider to help me with insights. Yeah, Does that make sense? And stuff. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Driven. Sure. Yeah. yeah, you guys need them on here. Yeah, Shannon, that's, Shannon, yeah absolutely. Uh, bro. Jordan, Driven. Yeah. my words already. Yeah. What What's one thing that somebody wants to do in their life? Get driven. <laughs> and they are driven. Driven around. <laughs> driven <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is uh, the homie. He driven to me. <laughs> Stupid. No, yeah, but like they made the process. Two shots of us? I know, right? Lightweight seven. He driven me. You're faded already, dude. Oh, two, you think two shots tickle me? Do another one. They tickle your pickle, bro. Once again, I need a horse tranquilizer to catch somewhat of oh, a buzz. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, but but anyways, the collab was. Um, <laughs> anyway <laughs> dismissed <laughs> the collab was extremely like inspiring it was. and gave me like motivation and when they approached me with another collab i'm like wow the first one did so good this next one's gonna do even better and then just kept doing so good and then it landed me another opportunity with another brand and you know just yeah yeah just continued pretty cool crazy That's yeah really cool. that is yeah I, I i had so much fun like helping you out with that too and sebas was always there for me always there for me always taking photos yeah. supporting me um Many don't know this, but he stopped his own career to help me. Oh, wow. What was my career before? Hair. The best in the game, my boy. Oh, that's how you guys met that's each other. That's how we met. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I <laughs> forgot about that. The best in the game. <laughs> You I'll, lived I'll, in downtown. Yeah, I, I met you guys when you like. I think that's when you were doing the color pop. Yeah, do they, do they know this. you guys go back back? Oh, we go back back. No, yeah, do they, they know? know. Oh, they, they know. know. They know. They know. They know. They know. 
Write that in the comments down below. Hashtag they know. They know. <laughs> they can we know. Do, it? do you think you can still cut, bro? You think you still you think okay, let me, yes. let, me let me rephrase that. Absolutely. You can probably still cut, but you think you're just as nice. Uh-uh. You literally uh -uh. have the boss to tell yeah. me that right no, now. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's do an episode where you cut my hair then. No, I think he, he Sebas is so talented. Let's He's a man of all trades. Easy. He can do anything. He can't honestly. I, I get very impressed by him. Ugh, me too. I'm like, and I know one, everybody. One thing, one thing he underestimates about himself is his memory and his mind. Like he, I'll tell him, like, yo, I'm going here. He's like, oh, you got to make sure you go here, here. He's so like detailed and remembers everything really when it comes does. to like locations and restaurants. He really and does everything. It just blows my mind. I'm Saf. You're what? Saf. Sick ass fool. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he does. He, I feel like he would, that he would still know how to cut your hair. Yeah, absolutely. But like sick, sick. I don't know. The fact that you even said that. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're Saf, bro. What like, is it? Wait, what is it? Time mark this if you want to see that. Yeah. Go down or whatever you <laughs> Oh, <like>. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Kind of turning me on right now. Give me a little. Right yushi. here, guys. Right Give here. me a little. <laughs> yushi. That's so stupid. Um, yeah, I think I could. Hmm? Yeah, of course I can. All right, I have a of question. Of course I can. I have a question for Karen. Okay. Oh, We're yeah, gonna, I forgot you have some, too. <laughs> We're going to make that happen. We're going to make that happen. <laughs> we should do that, actually. Let's do it, bro. That'll be fun. But, hey, but, that camera's dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it really is, bro. I thought you had batteries, fool. Yeah, I didn't change it. <laughs> no, you didn't change the batteries. Should two, we go on a break? Two, two shots of us. In I think we should go on the break. Let's go on a break. Yeah. Shot time. We'll be right back. <laughs> Shot o'clock. Can we all dab it in three, two, one? One, two, three. <laughs> Faded. Faded. <laughs> We have dinner later. <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this going. <laughs> And I thought it was so funny because I'm like, they have <laughs> just no so idea. random. <laughs> just like us arguing, and he's in a woody costume <laughs> about his height. He was like, everyone was like, yeah, I get you guys are talking about his height, but have you guys noticed he's wearing a woody outfit? <laughs> okay, I have I'm something, like, I have something to say about the 5'11 okay. situation. 5'11 what? As a girl who's 5'3, I'm a shorty, okay? That was actually one of the questions. Okay, I'm a shorty, I'm 5'3. You think that's short? Hell yeah. But with heels, Certain heels, yeah. I can sometimes be like five six. Um, angles make me look five seven, five eight. People always think I'm really tall. People sometimes come up to me and they go, "Wow, you're really short." <laughs> I know, and I'm always like, "Thanks." I, I always say, "So are you? We're, <laughs> you we're twinsies." Oh. Yeah, because that's rude. But uh, but you know, it that is, is rude. It, it yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Can we normalize being short? Like I honestly, think it's fine. Yeah. can we please normalize if you're short and please it not, is normal. do not call somebody out if they're short or if they're really tall. Don't say you are so tall. Yeah, you are so short. I think it's I don't know. I'm, it's, I'm, it's a little insecurity. Gotcha. It's like unnecessary. I'm, yeah, especially when I'm like with Sebastian's family, everyone's tall, and I'm just like, damn. I'm, well, it is what it is. I'm the chiquita over here. Yeah. But I don't think five three is short though. I honestly think like. It's not that short. I don't think that's it's, short. I think it's, it's normal. I think like five, five one. When girls are like five one, four eleven. Yeah. Like I'm like, okay, they're on the shortest. Think side. about yeah. it, babe, because once. But, but I do think I am. I am short, ter, shorter. Okay. Than like some of my friends or even like some people. Like I would, I would pers like I when I wear a heel, I feel confident. Yeah. I will be real with you. Yeah. Um, but I'm a short girl, and I don't wear clothes sometimes. I accentuate that because yeah. I make I make myself look shorter. Gotcha. <laughs> with um, sweats and shit. Gotcha. Think about it like this: when a girl's five seven. Mm -hmm. That you, you, you that's kind of tall. That's tall, that's right? Tall. So I think you're, I think you're normal to be honest. I agree. I wonder what the the average height for for it's girls five five. Are. It's five five. I think it's that's five five. That's the average. No, my sister is like five 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 six. Perseda, she's five, she's five, five, taller than you, right? Yeah, my sister's five five yeah. five six. Um, I'm up real quick. My little brother, he's like six, six one. Two. No, he's tall. He's taller than my dad. Yeah, my, my dad is. Yeah, I think your brother's six, like six two six one. My dad's six one. Average or female six. height about five four. Yeah. My yeah. my mom's so a shouty like me. But what were you gonna say about five eleven? No. Oh, okay, okay. So uh -uh. he is five eleven. And a half. And a half. And a half. But but what? But but what? I mean, there's a butt, dude. Let's listen to the butt. But what? I'm gonna call you out right now. She's gonna call you out. Here's the butt. Your posture is terrible. That if you were terrible, to posture dude. up a little bit, you could be six foot. Puff your chest out, my boy. 
<laughs> I say that because he slouches. I have I I don't I don't like to say I have the best posture, but I have good posture. Okay. And I always I, I always walk my head up. I walk. I'm very much Upright. like this. Yes. Um, Shoulders back. Shout out to Pilates because that's helped me out with that. Um, but sometimes he slouches, mm. and I feel like that that can affect. Is this true, Sebas? Yes. Slouchy McGee, Slouchy Sebas. You try carrying around a huge nose. <laughs> 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 that's the only thing you say right? okay. but guess what if he went like yeah. this i swear no he's i think he's six foot uh, that's kind of funny huh <laughs> clip that babe i'm being serious <laughs> i know me too I have a big nose. <laughs> <laughs> no it's beautiful you have a beautiful nose you have dude. a beautiful nose i know i wouldn't change it for the world but if you were going more like this you'd be six foot automatically no i'm 511 and a half. And a half. <laughs> we I have told proof. you, I'm a we very, proof. I'm but, a very humble person. But, I don't need to claim six. But, I'm five eleven and well, a half. If you do eight, slouch, you me? probably do seem a little short. I'm shorter. tired of this fucking ducking conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a short king. Everybody on TikTok, stop He's calling not. me a short king. I'm not no, a short king. I'm a short I'm queen. Taller, I'm taller than your man. How about that? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a short queen, but as a short queen, he's tall to me. Yeah. I like I'm like you're six like an, for sure. <laughs> 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 and I do this because I am short, so I have to look up at him. <laughs> I, I think I'm above average, but I'm not the tallest. You're tall. Yeah. My brother's tall. tall. Your brother's Mark Hughes. Yeah, Mark Hughes. Huge. huge. Yeah. I think they're the, they're probably the same height. Yeah, I think. So yeah. Too. Yeah. Your the brothers. It's are just tall. that Marky looks like bigger because he's more like the big. little brothers. Yeah. No. My little brother's tall too. Yeah. He all hit that door. Damn. Yeah. How tall is he? Like six two. Yeah, like six oh, two. Shit. Yeah. yeah, he's Brandon's really, taller though. Yes. Yeah, so Brandon's maybe tall. your brother's like six one, because Brandon's yeah. like six two or six no, three. No, Brandon's six four. Is he? Yes. Damn, lucky. Anyways, all right. So we love that Sebas is tall no. for you, yeah. right? You look at you look up at him. You 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 feel excited. But what is an ick you have about Sebas? Oh, I've been holding back on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like don't ask that. Mm. Hey, bro, this is not my questions, by the way. This is from Instagram. This is from La Platica Fea, my an boy. Ick about Sebas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. ¿Cuál de todos? Oh. ¿Cuál de todos? I'm, I'm picking the least. ¿Cuál the, de todos? I'm picking the least meanest one. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say I'm picking the least meanest one. Um. We want the meanest one. Yeah, pick the we want the one. meanest one. We're trying to go viral. Yeah, here, duck girl. it. Quack. Hold on, give me like two seconds to really think about. Hey, why would you not pull up a shot? My ah, I was about to say that. Ah, why are we the same? Let me one too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. An ick, an ick, an ick. No, there was one I had the other day where I was like, Oof. it was like burning me alive. Um. <laughs> The fear in her I'm eyes when so she said awful, that, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm such an awful person. Uh, no, no, no. No, you're on not, the contrary, you're not, you're my not. boy. Um, Hold on. Hold on. There was a really good one. You might have to like pause this one right here. I'm not pausing nothing. Okay, well, then it's going to take me a minute because there was one I had the other day that I thought about and I was like, that's my ick about Sebas. Well, we're going to take a shot. Okay. Um, shot o'clock. My man. Literally, one of the questions that I screenshotted was, what is it like being with a short king? And then <laughs> <laughs> He's not short king. It was an accident. It was Wait, an accident. Can, can I go pee real quick? I'm yeah. Hey, I'm over it. <laughs> can I go pee real quick? Hold on. Yeah, but before you go pee, say that we're going to go on a break. You have to. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go on a break. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pee real bad. I had Starbucks. I guess so. I had half a Future Sebas. <laughs> Start up the commercial <laughs> intro. Karen's yeah, taking and over. Here and the commercial. here we go. But I do have some mix. You got one? Mm -hmm. I got a lot, but I'll be I'll be gentle. <laughs> I got a lot. I got I'll be gentle. As living with a man, is it tough? It's not that it's tough. It's tough when you're a Virgo and you're organizing a clean freak and you just kind of <laughs> like want the house to look untouched. But 
uh, my ick. You are a clean freak. Karen. I am. I am. But you know what? He appreciates it because he, yeah. he sees it. And sometimes like <laughs> the house will be, we'll have a lot of guests over and I'll clean up right after. <laughs> and then he'll come out and he's like, oh my God, it feels so cozy in here. <laughs> and he likes it. Like when the house is tidied up, he, he, he can feel and see it. Yeah. And I honestly, um, but <laughs> no, um, but, I think people who are watching this have realized that I've been looking for my headphones, but the whole time you have them on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you made that face? Wait, no wonder these are better. These fucking suck. Can you buy? <laughs> no. Why do these suck? These are terrible. ducking suck. <laughs> these ducking suck. It's not the same. No, brand. it's not that. You know what it is? They're not the same headphones though. No, you know what it is? Are you one or two? Uh, You're one. Look at what about now? Um, it's because you were low. Yeah, a, a little better, but those are even better than these. Oh, I'm the host. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The whole time I was like, I was like, dude, my my my, my headphones like. You, did you notice it while she said like she was like and he they he hella disappeared, <laughs> and then I look at him like Sony because I'm the only one that Sony's yeah. on right now. Can you upgrade your gas? That's kind of rude. These suck. Those are that much better. No, she's yes. tripping. Okay, switch them. Feel it out. Let me okay, here you can wear these. No, you no, want. no. Just feel it. Feel out the difference. I felt these are the ones for, I have. I felt them for years. No, watch. Feel it. No, these. Those feel, are more comfy. They feel better on the ears too. Yeah, but they're not better. Watch, just feel. Watch. Look check at, one, two, three. Look check at the one, sound. Two, three. Check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. All of a sudden, you turn it up. Yeah. Well, no, it's because mine's always higher. Yes or no? Mine's yeah, always way higher. higher. Way higher. Yeah, so now it's it, it's a lot better. It's okay. almost the same. I don't think there's any much of a difference other than how they look. Oh my god. Okay. These are a little more chunkier. Yeah, they're more cushiony. Yeah. All right, so what's the ick? Okay, so my ick with you is that you... My ick with you is that you never throw away your trash in your office. And there's a desk full of cups, trash, Starbucks, Coke Zeros. The amount of cups... You cups. throw away your cups, dude? No, he has a cup obsession. He'll drink water. He'll drink a shake. He'll drink this, that in his office. Just leave and, the cups. And I'll go in there. Hi, so much. And there's always a minimum six, seven cups, Coke Zeros, coffees. I, I don't get it. But the Cokes have a Z at the end. Always. Okay, just making sure. Because that was going to be a whole different. And, 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 <laughs> and I go in there to look for something and I just see it all and I grab it because I'm like, some they're not disposable. Yeah. So I'm like here with like 10 cups. Mm. Coke Z's, and I'm just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and I'm like, I don't fucking, I don't duck and get it. And I'll throw it away. Duck and get it. <laughs> is that your ick about me? That's one. That's one. Is that the nicest one? Mm, yeah. Because if that's your ick, shit, you're doing good. That's not that bad. <laughs> bad. I mean, we can get into your bathroom. We can get into a lot of things. <laughs> I'm just a guy. But you know what, though? I I'm think just a teenage dirtbag, baby. <laughs> Oh, I have another ick. I have one more. Oh, You're 30, right. dude. <laughs> I have one more ick. I'm going to be nice. On, well, Don't be nice, Karen. Let him have yeah, it. Don't Let be nice. It. We, Final need, ick. we need TikToks. We need TikToks. <laughs> one of my icks about you, and you know this one's coming. You eat, and you'll move all your food to one side and proceed to talk to me with a side of food, like a hamster. <laughs> You just shove it all on the corner. And I look at him, I'm like, swallow your food. And he's like, but it goes here. And then you see a big ball. Watch him next time. And he's like, rr, rr, rr. and I'm like, just swallow your food and then tell me. She just hates when people talk when they have food uh, in their mouth. Pet peeve. That's but like, like for me, it's like, I mean, yeah. I'll, sure, I'll eat and talk You're the sometimes. only person I talk with. And so I see. I'll, I'll eat and talk. And she'll know exactly what I'm saying when I talk to her. <laughs> exactly. But she'll be like, what? <laughs> what? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Food Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm like, you know what I meant. <laughs> That's my ache about you. You know what I said. Oh, even though you acted like you don't. Yeah. <laughs> even though you act like I don't know what, what you don't know what I said. You know what I said. Ooh. Okay. Even if I said it with my mouth closed. <laughs> That's she all, knew telepathic. That's all I'm gonna That's say. That's adorable. That's all I'm gonna say right here. Okay. Because right. I want to be nice. Yeah. But I actually love more about him than yeah. like it. I don't have a lot of, I have more things I like about him than X. Yeah. I'm yeah. being serious. How long have you guys been living together? Mm. 2015. 15, 16, 18, 19. Go, oh, like eight years. Oh yeah, eight years, maybe yeah. September will be eight years for Seven us. Seven or wow. eight years. 
Uh, wasn't it 16? We moved in 2015 at the end of the year. Oh, yeah. It's technically seven years. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm like, don't ever leave me. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like, you can't even imagine yourself. Like, yeah. No. Uh, it's yeah. impossible. Yeah, I can imagine. It's scary. Yeah. Shots? Let's do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's do it. Shot o'clock. You're faded, fool. <laughs> You're, faded. You're jealous. You wish you can get faded on two shots. I really honestly, do. Same, oh dude. my god, that would be amazing. Same. I, honestly, I it would, and it would be so much cheaper. You know what? So honestly, I'm a really fun date because we went out to date. We had a date recently over our anniversary proposal. Um, did I take your shot to glass too? Oh no. <laughs> um, we went out for an anniversary proposal dinner. We were just celebrating it. We went to dinner. I had, I think, two espresso martinis, which is Ooh. equivalent to like two shots. Yeah. And that was it. It was like. Cheers. That's all he needed from me. And then you were good. Mm -hmm. Solid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we went to catch? <sighs> catch steak, right? Come on, man. I take my girl to nice restaurants. Oh, yeah. I've noticed. Yes. Must be nice. But honestly, <laughs> as, as much as I love those experiences, I like taco trucks better. And I like just like... Honestly, same. The easy life. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, same. Yeah. yeah. I, love, yeah. I love supporting yeah. vendors, but I love to just have things I grew up with. I, I my my turn, chill out. Oh, my, I have my, the good ones though, dude. Okay. See, yours are biased. Wait, okay, so yours are me. protected. Here, <laughs> yours are guarded. Oh, mine are, fuck mine me. are raw. Fuck mine me. are raw. Duck me. Hit me with another one. Quack me. The Sevas really have Chewbacca's ass. Meaning, is it really that hairy? Talk about his hairy ass. <laughs> what did I rate my ass the other day? The other like seven point four. Yeah, honest. Uh, it's like decent. I think it's like a decent like seven point four ass. solid rating. Fair rating of, of what? Of hair. Of hair. It's like normal, I guess. I don't know. Is it disgusting though? No, no, absolutely not. Let me see. He's got the flattest ass on earth, though. Also, <laughs> <laughs> not laughing that hard. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. You said you have a snake ass. <laughs> and for people back at home that don't know what a snake ass is, well, snakes don't have an ass. <laughs> it's, an, it's an endless back. <laughs> it's like a, it's like I, I'm telling you, like the. So you're saying I have ha Hank Hill's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull up the meme right here. <laughs> exactly this format. It's so cute. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but you get crazy down there. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Don't post that. Do not. Too late. <laughs> We're, it's already clipped, Karen. Yeah, it's, it's already, already viral on TikTok. I run that fucking house. I'm gonna go in there and delete that <laughs> shit. Delete, delete. Ducking house. <laughs> house. Oh. That's what you get. <laughs> All right, go ahead, dude. How do you feel about Joshy Boy being a part of the wedding? Oh, Ooh. I love that. I'm so excited. I love that because you... Okay, so with our wedding group, we have actually been planning this for months. Months and months and months and months and months. Um, I mean, I can even look at all my, like, orders for, like, my girl stuff. I planned this out months, like, pre-summer of 2022. Oh, wow. uh, the timing just wasn't right. Like, we there was always a trip, something, and then we couldn't get a weekend where everybody was in town. Mm -hmm. That was difficult. I would ask the girls, are you guys home this weekend? No. Like, for even example, when we did it, um, I had to say, like, I'm having a, a brand launch, right? To get everyone together because some of them were like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, why am I even talking about myself? But anyways, uh, no, but I, circling back yeah. to you, uh, we had planned this out for such a long time, and he's been so excited. Those duffel bags, he ordered those, I think, June of last year. No way. And it's just been like, he's been with- The Carhartt ones? Uh, yeah, yeah, That's those sick. and then the cards. Did you guys get the cards in there? I don't think so. We got the beer. Did you put the cards? No, remember, card? remember we decided oh, yeah. not to do the cards yet. Yes, sorry, shit. What cards? Shoot. Tell them about the cards. <clears throat> Chill out. He's gonna write everyone a handwritten letter. <gasps> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, probably. probably. Oh, okay. But anyways, uh, we got these cards and we purchased everything months ago. So he's been like excited for this moment, waiting for it. So have I, and um. I remember when he was like, we were talking about who we wanted in our wedding, what we we're doing. It was like a no brainer, mm -hmm. like a no brainer who like the most impactful people are to you, who you love, who you want there for you. And like the last podcast, he has so many friends, so much family. I mean, if he could have his perfect wedding, he would have like 50. Yeah, easily, <laughs> easily. He just like loves everyone, yeah. you know, but uh, when it came down to it, it was an automatic no-brainer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. So that's how you feel about him. Yeah. Well, that, does that make sense? Does that add up to the question or not really? Yeah. yeah. We yeah. said, "How do I feel about him being in the wedding?" Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Just excited. 
perfect yeah perfect duo yeah Love it. I, I, I was excited to <laughs> to ask him too oh yeah he's been waiting for this moment for like months already and leading up to it like i was so nervous i was so excited i'm like everyone's gonna say yeah but still it's it like, was such a perfect night and i had no idea and i love that i oh, love that I, I was so clueless and even just walking into the house like just because i know all the guys that you asked i feel like i've grown pretty close to them but i was just like what is happening here and then like they knew but like i they kind of knew right i would say they uh, probably knew like like half of them knew yeah. the other ones like brandon you yeah uh justin and lester lester had yeah. no, well lester kind of had an idea because i was I was at a I was at our company party. We were all there, yeah. and then we were talking. And then I kind of told them, I was like, "Oh my gosh, um, are you guys busy next week? I'm gonna ask Monica to be in the wedding." <laughs> you did. <laughs> you wait. You asked Lester that. It's because some of the some of the girlies I had to tell their husbands because yeah. I was like, "Can you please clear their schedule?" Yeah. Um, like Ale with Dennis, me telling him in advance, it was perfect because we called them. And he was like, perfect, I'll make sure she has nothing planned out. I'll make sure to not book dinner. Like, mm -hmm. it's important for your spouse to know because, do you see what I mean? It's like, Is it getting in the shot, dude? It's black smoke. Whoa. Just in case. It's it's not good smoke, guys. Dude, looks crazy on camera. <sighs> yeah, it was really smoky. All right, so what? But anyways, um, I had to tell them in advance, you know, because it was harder for the girls to get yeah. them together. Yeah. With the guys, it, he was easy to easy to lie to you guys and say hey karen's launching her brand can yeah. you guys come over it's a launch party or whatever so you guys don't know this but like uh while this is going on you guys all came at eight my girls were meeting at the house at eight i mean at the restaurant at 8 30 and i'm sitting there and i'm like i feel like i was gonna shit myself because i was like <laughs> so nervous but i started getting the alerts of people were at the house so i start watching on the camera and i watched the whole interaction oh like, no way like I guess I was like, babe, oh my God, look, I'm screenshotting it. And like, you could tell he was like kind of pacing. You guys were all eating, but you all were kind of like. Kind of quiet, right? Like well, it was kind of like this, like. I, well, I couldn't hear it, but I could just see like you guys were eating, but like kind of like, okay, well, what's going on? And yeah. then Sebas was like, come to the living room. And then all you guys were like, okay. And then they started doing his speeches and I kept watching it one by one. And I was like, oh my God. And then <laughs> everyone posted it online and I was like wait a second the <gasps> girls don't know they're gonna see it and some of the girls did see it. no way oh that's so interesting yeah it I, wasn't until he brought out the duffel bags that's when it all hit me and i was like oh shit yeah. <laughs> oh what are you girls in yeah <laughs> no it, it was, I, <laughs> truthfully it was i swear i i i thought that when she was texting me like i told the girls i thought that you already told them no oh that's yeah. but i was we 30 I was, right away. I was 30 minutes too early well, the minutes? thing is out of my out of the six girls in the wedding three knew for sure they were like waiting for it uh oh. the other three didn't know one of them was in she's all the way in new york jasmine she's probably watching it right now <laughs> she didn't know um so when i facetimed her i actually was like um because because she was like oh what she was she has been trying to help me with this wedding stuff for a while and when it comes to bridesmaid stuff, I kind of brush her off a little bit. I'm like, mm, <laughs> mm, mm, I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Like, I can't, and she knows this. And then that's funny. The, the day of, she was like, "Today's your day. Have the best time ever." Like, she was sent me the sweetest message, and I was like, "Thanks, girl. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll, I'll Facetime you later to show you the box." So she knew I was gonna Facetime her. So when I Facetimed her, she answered. She goes, "Show me the box. Like, I can't wait to see it." And I was like, "Well, do you just want to see? Do you want to wait for your box to come in, or do you want to see it right now?" And she was like, "What?" You're sending me one, and then I, I recorded the whole situation, and she and then I finally told her I'm like, no, you're in my wedding, like, I'm asking you, and then it was like a whole moment. Wow. Um. So she, did, I'm like, wait, what's going on? So she didn't know until then, and thank God she she watched. She already knew it was going to happen, but didn't know it was happening to her. Yeah. The other two, one of them did see it on the way there, but she didn't put two and two together. Oh really? She didn't. Mm -mm. She's like, we're just going to yep. still the same and then story. The, and then the other one didn't see it. So yeah. I'm like, wow, hallelujah. Yeah. And <clears throat> nevertheless, it, uh, the, 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 that night was perfect. It was honestly a movie. <gasps> you guys, yeah. perfect it's night. Perfect night. To, look perfect at me. Night. I get smiley to, yeah. to the point that like the other night I went to an event and I said, can we go to La Descarga right now? <laughs> and we went. <laughs> oh, did you they guys went, yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, and you know what's funny? I looked at the corner we were at too. Yeah. It wasn't late. No, but of I course was, not. No, but it was, a, it was a Wednesday salsa night. There was a live band and I remember oh, cool. just like, look, same DJ. Oh, fire same. music yeah. but i was i looked over there and i was like dang no, you, you know what it really really was us it's us the it's energy us. the energy was hot <clears throat> our, our bridal peaking. our bridal crew you guys like oh my god but it's the most lit crew and like a part of me is like i'm so sad we're doing our own bachelor and bachelorettes i get it 
we're doing our own thing but like a part of me is like we should just do one last trip together all of us because it'd be so much fun that'd be crazy not to say like i don't want to do like we meet up last night no 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 yeah like I'm a separate like trip a separate because my girls are so much fun your guys are so much fun i feel like i have a lot of fun with the guys yeah because sebas's friends are like i feel like they're the ones that get the party going uh, yeah. yeah yeah i've never met a group like them and i've known they're them all crazy since i met sebas so um the group is lit but that night was so perfect and i have been vlogging like a wedding series for my YouTube channel. So if you guys follow me on YouTube, this will be going up all like in around April or I believe like what we say, April or May. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing you don't know uh -oh. is that that night mm -hmm. I was on my vlogging mode. I was lit, but I was like alert, alerta the whole night with the camera. And on the way home, um, I was like recording me and all of us singing in the car because we were singing to Desvelado. Um, in San Mi, like old yeah. fucking Mexican music. I was already sleeping. He was no, he was you slumped. Remember? No. He was slumped over you on our way back from Actually, the club. Oh yes, 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 I was yes, 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 slumped. Yep. Um, my girlie Millie was driving. I was in the front seat, and there was like four guys in the back. I vaguely remember this. <laughs> okay, so I was vlogging <laughs> and singing, and then there's a moment we go to Jack in the Box, and when we pulled up, the, the lady was like, "Can you turn your music down? I can't hear you guys." She was so mean the way she said it was. Mean. Oh, and we were all like oh sorry we just turned it down and i put the camera down but i didn't realize it was still recording so there's a five minute conversation that's going on in the car because there's cars <laughs> in front of us that i'm going to put on the vlog because it's literally like brandon complaining about secret sauce you being like shut up brandon we know we got the order like we ordered a secret sauce and brandon goes do you know what's in the secret sauce you're like yeah it's a sauce it's a secret <laughs> Like the stupidest fucking conver decking conversation, but it was, but was it was it was the you funniest, <laughs> the funniest five minutes. Heard it? Yes, yeah, the funniest it. five minutes up here, pitch. <laughs> but you just like in here, and I'm like, you can just see like the ceiling of the car, and yes. like everyone's talking. And I'm like, Shh, shut the duck up, all of you. You're all so annoying. And Millie's like, who's pulling my hair? Like. <laughs> who's pulling? Her? Millie was like, why don't you guys act like Sebas and shut up? And I was just blacked out. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. When is this coming out? Uh, it's coming out like in April. Oh, okay. This night, I can't tell you, it was the most perfect night. Yeah. And I would never change one thing about it. I think mm -hmm. the only thing I would change is that I wish I would have wrote in everyone's letters, like why I love them so much. But did you do like a little speech prior saying like why you I love told, them? Yeah, I pretty much once I got through, they knew what was going on. And then I sat with them. And then um, before, like we started to drink, drink, I was like, okay, guys, like before we get to dinner and start talking, I want to like do a speech and like talk to you guys. So I told them like how it was honor for them to be there. And they've all been very impactful friends in my life. And um, just like how much I, I love them. Mm -hmm. But then I gave them individually each a speech. So I was like, wow. Millie, you're like a little sister. Angie, so-and-so, Vanessa, so-and-so, Monica, so-and-so. And then yeah. when I got to Ale, my maid of honor, um i got into her how like me and her have like a real sister bond mm. and like with ale I, they're the type of friends that like are on facetime with each other like while they do their makeup but they're not even talking <laughs> they're just we me and ale facetime company. like five times a week for absolutely no no yeah. reason we just talk and ale is one of those friends like that i've, I've never had a friend like her yeah. who is like a sister who makes me feel comfortable who allows me to cry allows me to express my mind to vent to her when i'm stressed i'm happy i'm sad whatever i'm going through and like we've known each other for what five seven eight years now mm -hmm. but um it wasn't until like 2019 that we got really close and then 2020 we were like in panic mode over life and everything and who we are as creators like trying to still maintain us while going through a pandemic and she was there for me like i feel like through like a really hard time and through all my hard times in life that i don't share she's been there for me and with her, I had like a real sister bond. Mm. Um, so when I asked her to be my maid of honor, she like immediately was like bawling her Bom. eyes out. Me too. It was like amazing <clears throat> the moment. She caught it. She caught it on video, and it, it's on her I TikTok. You should see it. It's really. I didn't she even. Posted? Yeah, she I didn't did. even mean to. I just kind of like set the camera just to record the speech because I actually meant to post it on TikTok, on Instagram and TikTok, and I had um recorded the sound but the music was so loud do you remember how loud it was yeah there? yeah it was like boom 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 so it was super super loud you couldn't even hear anybody and but my camera picked it up and um i asked her and like you hear my converse with everybody with her it was a little more dim because i'm turned this way um but you can you can hear when i ask her and it was like such a beautiful moment that it was so perfect we all cheers we took shots to it we cried and then we're like 
let's rage. Let's do <laughs> yeah, it. That's how it was. And then you guys showed up yeah. and that was our plan was like, we link up together, we celebrate together. And then we all, we all, we all went to bed at like 6 a.m. <laughs> It was Late. almost like a mini bachelor party. Honestly, right? it was. Yeah, it was. It was so active. <laughs> and, and the thing is, the thing about something too is that, like, I remember when we all decided we we're gonna go there. Like, Alan and Dennis, they don't like the club too much, and I respect that. And I, I told them, I said, hey, if you guys don't want to come, it's okay. It's fine, like, yeah. I completely. Understand. I don't know. I've been to a lot of clubs with them. Yes, I know, but they're they rather <laughs> like kind of like be like, okay, call it a night and we'll go home. Dip out early. But they were like, we'll go for a little bit because they'd never been to La Descarga. Yeah. And they got there. They stayed there the whole time, didn't they? Okay, well, they got there and they were like, "Oh, it's the music's good." They didn't. They were the last ones to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it was just it that was much, too fun. much fun. And, yeah. like, yeah. and like, I saw them, and I just like, like the, everyone was smiling and so happy that I was like, "Wow, this is the perfect night." There's no other way I would have imagined no, this night to go. I agree. I totally I, agree. Like till this day, I'm like, nothing has topped that night in a yeah, while. Yeah, I agree. That night was so much fun. With a cigar. It was a movie. I know people say that like movie, but I was like, It was nah, a, mo wait, was wait, a movie. Wait, can you say it? How you say it? <laughs> my life is like a movie. <laughs> I felt like that. I was like, wow, my life is like a movie. <laughs> that night was. He's not your puppet, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Make me laugh, clown. <laughs> That okay. night was a movie, and like here you, I go. If you guys have not been to this guy, go on Thursdays, go and sit in the DJ section. Yeah, in the corner, left corner. Because I went on a Wednesday night, and the side. You know how we went up the stairs. Yeah, yeah. That's not a thing on Wednesdays. It's only like Thursday through Sunday. Wait, like the speakeasy part? Yeah, that's. Oh. So I so I only went to the DJ side, and I was like. We're having fun, but I looked at our corner, and I was like, we were lit it's over lit. there. Lit. Oh, really? That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, you were home taking care of the dogs. Oh, you didn't go. I was having a girls' night. No, oh. she, she she went to an event, and then after the event, oh, they went over there. Oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I was You're fine, right? Yeah, I was on. Yeah, I Dude, mean, he fine. always is like, go on girls' nights, go out more, go, yeah. go. I tell her all the time, like, go out, get out of here. What's the opposite of X? Loves like little like X. What turn ons? Turn on. What are, what are some turn ons on Sevas? Yeah, he's chef daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know how to cook. He is a chef. Chef he, Daddy. He, he he will um like last night I was editing. If I take off my hat, there might be a little rat in there. <laughs> Damn. A little ratatouille. He's my personal ratatouille. <laughs> Is that right? Ratatouille. 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 Ratatouille, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Talking He's about it up. I was editing and then uh we talked about what we're gonna have for dinner and I was like, I'll come prep the the vegetables and he goes, No, don't worry about it, I got it all. And I was oh. like Okay. Come on, baby. Uh, and then and then I went over there and I, I don't I not give you like kisses and I'm always like, wow, it looks so good. Every time we do like the Hello Fresh videos and stuff like that, I see him. He just takes over. He gets in the zone when it comes to cooking. So I've no, seen he's it. I've seen him in action. He's good on the grill. Yeah. <laughs> there's things he's good at. There's things I'm good at. So yeah. we, we definitely like Common have our own our own thing. But Jordan like and in the kitchen, he, that's like a turn on to me. Um, what do you want to do to me when he's, I do stuff like whoa. that? <laughs> <laughs> he's very nurturing to me too mm -hmm. yeah like he takes care of things like he takes care of things that to me are i don't explain it like and when nurturing. i and what i am what do you want to do to me or what <laughs> <laughs> shot time. Shot. 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 <laughs> fuck me duck me um, me. you know what and i this this may be very irrelevant i don't uh, know they're gonna say erotic <laughs> i don't know if this like Matches so, up to so. this. I'm ignoring him right now. I don't know if this like means anything, but the way he treats our dogs. Yeah. Like I can't imagine him with our baby. That's He's gonna be a good daddy. Sexy to me. Sexy as zaddy. Yeah. When you think about that, what do you want to do to me? <laughs> to being zaddy. Laying down to being with you zaddy. And just watch Netflix and like take, not, take not. a shot for that. I'm like, how many in now? Four, five. Four. You're done after this, actually. Really? You're cutting me off? Really? Yes. <laughs> I know you, Karen. Mm. Puppy, we, should, kidding, do, we should do a speed do round of questions. Mm. Do you have more questions? I have a bunch. I have a bunch. Let's just have her do them and like just quit. Okay. Yeah? Like one sentence, two sentences type Yeah, okay. she can do like a sentence max. Dale. The well, shorter the better. I think before Wait, I we something. do that. I got something. No, you got something, but we... Mm. <laughs> this is a man cave, baby. We the, this is my... Uh, oh hey, my baby. God. My... Uh. <laughs> My, uh, Let's do another shot, my boy. My <laughs> pinky out. Oh my god. Pinky out. Are you turned on? Yeah. <laughs> In the car, he actually say can't it. Tell say it. Say it. Don't ask him. Say it. Yeah, five, yeah, five minutes. Okay. In the car. <laughs> Never mind. No, say it, Karen. Karen, you no, can't do that. Come on, don't do this okay. for us. Do it for no, the people back yeah. at home. In the car, uh -uh. We, we were driving. 
obviously leather pants hit different when you're wearing leather pants like you feel things and he went like this to me and i was like <laughs> i looked at him and i told him i was like i got a little tingly inside right now <laughs> there you go fuck i'm single <laughs> so hey I'm single. imagine this girl living with me my, uh, mm, dangerous <laughs> but it's not always like that because there's some days i gotta where lock her up in a cage absolutely not there's some days she where she goes I, out of control with me my, uh, okay this is this is false guys <laughs> Let me, not, not that. let me tell you something in a matter of like two seconds when you are with someone you are not always wanting them and that is okay normalize not always wanting your partner not always like wanting to be sexually active like you, there's times you just want to lay in bed and like do not talk to me i want to watch tv me too i want to be on my phone i want to pet my dog i want to like just i don't want to it's okay no i get that like just disconnect have your own yeah and it happens often where i'm just like and we both are like that where we're like we just want to like chill mm -hmm. it's okay mm -hmm. so if that happens in a relationship just know that it's common it's normal it's not weird it's you guys aren't out of love it's just normal but it can't last too long though no, because your partner still wants to be not. desired absolutely not that's yeah. the thing then you have questions trust me th there there's nights where we lay down and we're both like oh i'm so exhausted i'm so tired whatever and we just like talk we go to bed yeah, and there is like moved a little bit oh is that the one that's gonna fall no, 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 oh okay. damn is that why you don't sit here anymore nah, i don't sit there no more girl i've learned my lesson far too many times hey my reflex is faster than yours probably yeah. i just let it hit me and her smell <laughs> but what <laughs> but like that's like a normal thing so if you guys you know are in a relationship and you're like my partner doesn't like touch me every night or it's normal. Yeah. Like if anything, I'd rather not be touched. <laughs> That's kidding. false. No, no, I love it. But I also- That's super I get false. You. I get you. I'm f***ing with, I'm ducking with you. But yeah. also like, it's normal yeah. and it's okay. Yeah, it is. But- Especially like- But you can't go like five, six months like that. No, no it's absolutely like not. a couple days, right. whatever, yeah, it's normal. Especially cause like I'm like this and I feel like maybe half or the majority of like humanity is like this. I like time by myself, bro. Yeah, me, oh, too. me too. Me too. Yeah, me she too. does too. And like, I, I, I give it to her. I, I like to be in my in my room. Yep. In my nebula room. Mm -hmm. And just like, just just be by myself and do nothing. Bye about, baby. And just, you know, like I don't want to talk. I don't want to do nothing. She yeah. knows that. She knows that about me. Yeah. I'm a very like, I'm a very quiet person, but and I've said that before. Like I, I'm on, a, I have a podcast. We have a podcast. He's outgoing, and I'm out very outgoing. Super. I'm, I'm, I'm super. What's it called when you talk to everybody? Uh, optim. Uh, no, extrovert. Extrovert. Yeah. extrovert. Optimistic. optimistic. <laughs> I was gonna say. That wait, too. wait, wait. People don't know this, but I'm the introvert. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Too much cozy, my boy. <laughs> I'm the introvert. You know what? Because I, I know you guys extra. pretty well. I know that, but you're right. A lot of people probably don't realize that. I, yeah. I'm very outgoing, but I rather much you cancel plans, maybe home and just do nothing. Like I love to be home. Yeah. I'm, I'm very much like just I like to be alone. It's weird, and yeah. I don't know if it's because like ugh, I've done it all. Like I've done, been there, done that. Yeah. I don't need to be out, but also like I'm at peace with myself. Mm -hmm. And I love time at home. I love nurturing my house. I love like just being home. It's mm -hmm. such a different feeling. And he's always like, let's go out. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We don't have to do all that. Yeah. Not tonight. Not tonight. Extrovert. Introvert. 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 Yin and yang. Mm -hmm. But she's also extrovert as well. Oh, yeah. Right, I right, am very right. extrovert. Yeah, yeah. When I'm out, I'm out. But, but I, when I'm home, I'm home. Yeah. She has the power to do both. I only have the power to do one. <laughs> <laughs> but for myself for my own s sanity myself yeah. like when it's just me and i think about just myself i like to be introvert i really do mm. like yeah, i don't he, want to do shit. decompress like you need a decompress mm -hmm. moment you know? well all this energy that i release for yeah. being an extrovert i have to have moments where i just charge, charge up. up yes charge up. absolutely you you cannot be the same person like all the time like no. you have to like reset recharge you need time by yourself you need time to think and like for me my time to think is when like i'm running mm -hmm. when i'm working mm -hmm. out when i'm in the shower like i think about ideas and you can't get those ideas if you're always out and always people pleasing or being mm -hmm. out he can definitely go and do whatever and i just love him to enjoy himself <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean yeah and in those moments that's when you kind of just have your alone time just kind of um, reassess regroup all that stuff honestly him being gone sometimes like, he's like i'm gonna go on the cabin trip i'm like Peace. I'm so excited. I, I refresh. I reset. I like to clean. Yeah. Cleaning is like my uh, escape coping mechanism for myself mm. to like reset my house. Yeah. Um. Because my house is my sanctuary. Yeah. I agree. Like where you live is like it, it's a reflection of yourself. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows this. Mm -hmm. I'm a Virgo queen too. So yeah. I 
always love to like reset around the house and he comes back and he notices it and he feels it the energy is always good in our home though yeah like always always good yeah but yeah i feel like your personal space like your home your room and stuff like that is somewhat of a reflection of who you are as my a grandma told me that a long time ago yeah and i yeah when um yeah when i when i like meet people that I, like i'm dating and stuff like i i'm very like curious to know about their personal space because so, so, i feel so, like it is a reflection i really do so joshy poo so, as a single man yeah joshy poo <laughs> so just a poo. here's my question to you you, you walk into a house okay. this girlie has dirty plates everywhere uh-huh she got a dirty kitchen dirty yeah. bathroom there's like tooth toothpaste uh, water no, 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 everywhere no um it like old laundry yeah. like she may say cinder resets coming along but like when you walk in, what do you say when you see that? Uh, it's definitely a turn off because yeah. even myself, I was raised by a single mom. So uh, men tend to be, have the reputation of being more dirty and like, just kind of like whatever and stuff like that. I make the effort to keep my place clean because I know that it makes me feel good. And just having like a clean environment, like I said, I think it's a reflection of who you are. Absolutely. So that's how they're treating their own personal space. What do we care about more than anything in this world? Ourselves. Let's be yeah. real here, right? So your own personal space, if you don't care about it, how do I expect you to care about other things in your right. life, uh, how, like our relationship and other things like that. So I don't know. I, I think it is a bit of a reflection. Um, even even to go further on that, I've had people come over to my place and stuff. And uh, let's just say we're having like drinks and stuff like that. And they'll just kind of just leave the drinks yeah. at the table and don't even say anything. Like, hey, can I help you clean this up? Hey, can I bring this to the sink? And even that to me, I'm like, I, I take note of that. Yeah, same. You know what I'm saying? I'm same. like, hey, just, it's, what does it take to say like, hey, can I put this in the sink for you? Whatever, nothing. It, it I'm just, like, who raised you? It's just being respectful. It's just being respectful. See, and that's one thing about with Seba, like we're complete opposites. But like I take pride in that because I'm when I come to someone's house, I represent us both. Yes. As a couple. And I come in there and I'm like, let me let me freshen up. Let me, what can I help you with? What can I do? Even if mm -hmm. you go to your mom's house, I'm like, mm -hmm. can I help you do anything? Your mom's like, no, just eat, just sit down. And I always want to do something. I always want to tidy up. Um, but I do think that that reflects to the person. 100%. Um, but I also think like I heard my grandma told me this one time r.i.p my grandma but she said um your space reflects you yeah it respects your mind it reflects your mind as well mm -hmm. and like who you are as a person and i'm like that's that's true because a cluttered space your mind's just full of clutter yeah so i started to when i was young organizing tidying up whatever to the point that now we live together and i'm like i always make sure like our places Everything's, everything's easy to find. It's accessible. Mm -hmm. There's never a clutter. There's never a mess. Right now, we do have a pile of laundry everywhere, but I'm like, okay, I got to get to it. Like, I know that this week I got backed up on work. Yeah. And I was stressed. Right. You know that. I was stressed. I was like, on the editing. But not being able to tackle down my laundry reflects what I'm going through. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So I was like, mm, I need no. to, like, do this before, because this is important before that. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Like life happens, right? We're not always going to just be able to clean our, our house. Is not going to be spotless all the time, but it's about like, I don't know, taking the time to do it. Eventually, like you got to get there. Like you got to, you got to like, you know, tie up your spice, your space. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. But uh, yeah, should I, we do a shot or a drink? Uh, last I shot. Mean, wait, last shot. I said a shot or a drink. Should we do a shot or a question? <laughs> we're going to do a shot, shot and, and then, then a question. Speed questions. Speed questions for Karen. Yeah. That's my only questions. Three questions. No, no, no. We're about to go into these speed oh. questions. Yeah, but remember, these speed questions, I'm going to give you two sentences max. Yeah, that's it. You're telling me to shut the fuck up pretty much. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm telling you to be speedy. <laughs> so shut you the fuck up. You dropped it all over yourself. <laughs> You're feeding <laughs> food. I'm just enjoying this moment, dude. All right. Salud. Salud. Thank Salud. you again, Karen, for uh, um, being on La Platica. We yes, really Karen. appreciate Comment you. Comment down below you want me to come back again. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> If she doesn't come back for another eight months, there's a chance that she might not be able to drink the next time she comes around. Pantona, as fuck. You know what I'm saying? There's a chance. There's, there's a, a chance. very, very high chance. So wow. I think this is the turn up episode. This could be. <laughs> that was a very the powerful next one statement. Like, that one kind of hit me. That was a very powerful statement that you just hey, that man. you just said. Uh, I tend to manifest too. So are you manifesting me? I don't know. Wait, if we have a kid, know. okay. Here's my question to you. Mm -hmm. If we have a baby, what do you see us having first, a girl or a boy? Girl. Yeah. Girl, me I too. see girl. I want girls, you yeah. guys. Everyone who follows me, if you know me, my my if niece, you know me, <laughs> my niece Abigail is that my is perfect. I have I have a lot of nephews. Yeah. I have a handful of nephews, and I love them all very much. You know this. I literally treat them all the same. I give them all the same experiences. But my Abigail, that's my only girl born after me. Mm. 
I was the last girl born in my family, and then it was her. So she, me and her have a very special bond, and he even knows this. She's like a little sister to me, like my own daughter, and I treat her with love. But I've seen it just through social media. And stuff. With her, I want a girl so bad. I'll be happy with a boy, yeah. but I want a girl. Yeah, I'm happy with anything. Honestly, I'll yeah. have a sleeve of girls if I if I could. Yeah, honestly, I'd, I'd love to be a girl dad. Yeah, I would love to be a girl my dad. dream is to have twins though. <laughs> that would be a boy girl. That would be money. No, I would love two girls. Two girls. Two girls okay. or a girl boy. I don't really care. Honestly, yeah, I would but just twins love, would be crazy. I would just love twins. Twins would be fine. Honestly, like it's so crazy. Karen, you ready to get into these questions? I'm ready. Speed questions. Speed. Bobby, you ready? I'm gonna um I'm gonna go through the ones I haven't asked, and depending on how we're doing on time, I might even go back and like ask some new ones. This is gonna so. be an hour and fifty six minutes. Yeah, this is gonna be a long one. Good. Okay, hold on one second. Let me but this just... has been highly anticipated episode, so it makes sense. Are you screenshotting more? No, no, no. The, these are the questions that I that I got. I'm just seeing. I'm trying to delete the ones that I've already said. <laughs> oh, that's actually smart. Stop doing that. It's only cute a couple times. <laughs> Is that Coke Z life? <laughs> Coke Z life. <laughs> hey, yo, if you already been listening this far, I think it's been like an hour and some change. Yeah. Wait, Time market. Wait. And put hashtag, it's the Coke Z life. <laughs> Wait, why does my jacket look like Coke Z AF? <laughs> it does, huh? You look like Sponsor. Coke Z race driver. <laughs> Amazon. I'm going to link down my storefront below. Okay, I got it, Josh. I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. All right, you want to go first? Remember, one, two sentences. Two sentences, if you have two, three, who cares, but just quick, quick, okay, quick, quick. Okay, go. Go ahead, buddy. How do you wish to evolve your content creation once you become a mamacita? A mom? Yeah. yeah. To bring my baby into all my content and do the best I can. Karen, you, Karen is an inspiration. She can do it all. How does she avoid burnout? You got to reset. You got to recharge and take time off when needed. And your, your people will understand. Mm. In Ichabod Sebas and Josh's relationship. My butt. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Disneyland or California Adventure? Oh, dis uh oof. Stumped ya. Yeah? California Adventure for the drinks. Yes. Did you ever think, damn, when the hell is Sebas gonna propose? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest worry about the wedding? Sebas being drunk before he goes on the altar. That's a huge possibility. <laughs> There's no shots allowed before. That's fair. No I shots. Need, I need a couple. For, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I got you, dog. Absolutely not. A little flask. Do you ever worry about social media shifting directions and hurting your career slash lifestyle? Absolutely. But as a content creator, you got to keep up with the times and keep going because that's the only way you're going to involve. And if it's not working out for you, you got to change your content. Adapt or die. That's what it is. Uh, if you weren't an influencer, what would your career choice be? I'd be a forensic investigator. Really? Yes, Dang. I love crime scene. Damn. What are you most looking forward to after getting married? Getting pregnant. Whoa. <laughs> uh, you're stranded on the island. What two makeup products are you taking? SPF and an eyelash curler. Beautiful. <laughs> Being with Silas for so long, how have you kept relationships so strong even through social media? That's a good question. You got to date. You got to go out. You got to communicate. You got to keep things spicy and... I really think it comes to you, not the person. It's you. You gotta keep. You gotta be confident. Mm. You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta work out. You gotta feel good about yourself. To feel. Yeah, I but love that answer because me. people tend to like point like, oh, yeah. they gotta. No, do it's this. you. But it's, it's a, you. You it's gotta a, start with you first. It's a you problem. You gotta fix yourself. Like when I'm not feeling good about myself, I'm not gonna go and throw it on him and make mm. that his problem. That's me. I'm not eating good. I'm not working out. I'm not doing the things that make me feel good. And those are the things working out eating yeah. good. But even just like in the relationship aspect, if you're like wanting something, like are you doing things too to create that excitement in the relationship as well? It's not just like pointing the finger at the other person. No, you huh. got to keep it. It's a, it takes two to tango. That's right. Real quick, when you said date, does that mean with other people or just like actual yeah, dates Yeah, can you with clarify? Because I... What? I, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of confused Because you on said that. make sure you date and then like... I oh, was no, like, you got to make sure to still like go on... Like have dates. No, you got to go on dates with each other. Yeah, but not date other people, no, right? You, okay, good. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I was honestly stressed too for oh like a second dude oh my god you gotta go on dates with each other you gotta you gotta make time for each other people get lazy in relationships they think i locked them in we're like this it's never gonna be different no you gotta go on dates you gotta dress up you gotta take care of yourself you can't let yourself go love language what's your love language top one top one um what is mine again um that was it 
Physical touch. No. Physical touch. Is it touch? Yeah. Yeah, physical touch. I need to be scratched. Yeah. Rubbed. That's when you feel felt. most loved? If you're being like if touched he, by someone? If he goes up to me and he yeah. goes like this and gives me Checks a kiss. Checks in on you like physically. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah. Mm. Her day's complete. Yeah. Complete. Mm. Uh, was, ever, was Sebas ever insecure about you getting popular? How did it affect your relationship? Never. Never, never, never. Sebas actually supported it. And if anything, he was my biggest hype person ever. Top tier. Number one. Mm. First fan. Yeah. <laughs> uh I'm actually uh How? how's how's wedding planning? Okay, I'm another shot. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> it felt it felt my stress. It's not just me, you see? We we have to finish our, our, our catering tomorrow on our fucking bartending list. <laughs> That was okay. <laughs> That's that that right there is a symbol of my life right now. <laughs> the wedding planning life. Are we okay? Is everybody okay? No, we're good now. So much stress. <laughs> so much stress. Did he, it hit you? Did he, it hit you? He felt the Hey, are you okay? <laughs> I didn't feel the smack tongues. <laughs> I'm still single. <laughs> um if you were Sebas for a day. What would you do? Ooh. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, ask me again. <laughs> if you were Sebas for a day, what would you do? Ask yeah. me again? What do okay. you mean, ask me again? I just told you. Wait, wait. If I was Sebas for a day, I would, like, in my own world? No, if you were me, what would you do? Like, am I repeating what you do as in the world day to day? Or? No, if you were just him, what would you, what yeah, would you, you do? Yeah, you woke up day? like on some Freaky Friday shit. <laughs> yeah. What would you do if you were me and you can't jerk off? <laughs> or you could. No. no, I would go. I would go on a two mile run. I would walk the dogs, and after that, I would go to the gym. I come back. I make breakfast and dinner for both of us, <laughs> all before nine a.m. <laughs> wait, 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 I don't understand this question. I don't get it. What would you do if you were me for a day? Like, am I telling them what you do in everyday life? No, like, no. If you what would you do if you were in my body? What would you do in a perfect world? Per no, I mean, in, in, in the world, world. That you were Sebas. <laughs> in a perfect world, if I was Sebas, I would wake up. I would water all the damn plants in the house because I'm the only one doing them. You got to water the plants. I would. You're not getting the question. I'm, I'm not getting, getting it. it. Okay, okay. You, you wake up one day and you're Sebas. Take advantage of being oh. mean. You take, yeah, and you're a man. Oh. You're Sebas. She's you're, literally, you're 5 she, She's literally saying <laughs> things that she wants me to do. Yeah, yeah. No, you are him. And <gasps> what would you do? Swap spots. What would you do as him? And he has all that. You have all his talent, all his like mind, everything. You have all of him. <laughs> but you also understand that you yourself. So like, for example, sense. my brother said that he would take my cars out and he would right, like, race right. them and drift them. Yeah. Because yeah. those are my cars. He took advantage of me. Well, how are you going to take advantage of me? Right. Let me guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Make love to your fiance. Of course. Okay. I don't like that question because I, I don't know how to answer that. Give me another one. That's too complicated. It's a lot of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, Cause, cause, cause I don't know whether to like imagine the perfect you or like shit talk you. There's so anything, many. No, anything. You, you can do anything you want as Sebas, as him. I would take us out to a perfect breakfast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then take us to Disneyland after. <laughs> okay. This question came out to what do I want him to actually yeah. do in real yeah. life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you better be taking notes, bro. <laughs> Throw that caution away. Oh! Oh! I saved you because I love you. You did, dude. I saved you because I love what you. What a man. Here, let's let this thing. None. Those are all the questions, y'all. Those were all the questions for today. Karen, you had some amazing questions today. Wait, no, you didn't have questions. You had answers. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry to, sorry to get the two shot Karen effect. Um, How many shots have you had? I, I think we're four deep. I think we're four or five deep. So yeah. four shots of us. Four shots of us. Yeah, no, but I'm not drunk or buzzed. Mm. Mm. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, ting <laughs> maybe tingly. Ma Ma uh -uh. <laughs> you see? You see what happens <laughs> when you go on the podcast? <laughs> you talk shit because I say, Ma -ma. but at the end of the day, it you don't know over. what it feels like it to sit over. right here <laughs> with this motherfucker, Ducker. Okay? And say, uh -uh. Okay? It's not you know. Okay? Um, once again, babe, I, I, I love you to death. Thank you for being on the, the Potty Wadi Too Hottie. That's right. Josh, I love you too, Love man. you, bro. You're my, you. You, you're my groom, I love man. both of you guys. I love you, both of you you're guys. You're my groomsman, bro. Hey, man, I'm in it.
I'm I mean, they're it. like, what? Swimwear. Ah! <laughs> My butt. <boy. laughs> This is honestly a sexual. really fun episode. It was. It and she was. was making fun of that one. That, oh, oh, so you're doing it. Hey, in the beginning, she was Before like, we I'm end, so nervous, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Before we end, I'm going to do the most sexual noise. <laughs> hit one. Hit one. Hit get a, hit me off. Get me out of here. <laughs> do you know that you're not going to review this <laughs> after right, it's yeah, edited, no, no, right? No, 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 no. All right. I don't want to hear no. Let me see it before you post it. It's going <laughs> up. Okay. Okay. Ma -a. Ma -a. <laughs> Just kidding, baby. Uh, thank you so much for being on La Platica. I really appreciate you, Karen Sarai Gonzalez. Robles. Do you know what? What's my nickname to you? You know that? Do you know? No. Sarah. Huh? Sarah. Sarah Lee. Sara Lee. <laughs> you got me Sara Lee. Wait, I don't know Lee? why. It's, I don't know. It, it's a brand of bread. It's a brand of cheesecake at the <laughs> oh, grocery store. I know Sara Lee. Sara Lee yeah, bread. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, Sara Lee, Sara Lee. Because <laughs> sometimes people like that, that, that follow Karen, obviously we've been doing um, social media for quite some time now. Yeah. I think we're considered um, OGs. what you call OGs. Triple OGs. Yeah. And um, throughout our OG lifestyle, We've encountered people that would call, like, kind of butcher her name. Sarahi, yeah, Sarahi, yeah. Sarah Hi, Sarah Hi, Sarah Two, Sarah Two, <laughs> Sarah Two. Sarah two. They, they think that the two eyes at the end are <laughs> Roman numerals. <laughs> Sarah Two, but we love it all. It doesn't matter. I, hey, I respond to it all. I'm like, what up? Some what up? people, what up? no, but like, what the reason why I call her Sarah Lee is because. Uh, there's a lot of people that sometimes not a lot, well not a lot but like sometimes like every blue moon there's somebody that comes up to her and says Sarah Sarah because her name is Sar Sarai yeah, yeah. Sarai yeah. Sarai um, so which they, could be hard to say if you don't speak sure, Spanish Sarai it could be hard that's what I'm saying like, I don't I don't I, I don't I don't blame people for yeah. calling her Sarah yeah um, but they call her Sarah that's so so, so now I call her Sarah by car uh sarah lee because that's the the brand the of the bread. bread as as a sarai or any middle name that has like an i you will always encounter someone butchering it yeah in america yeah. if you go outside of if you go to like south america or mexico or wherever they get it but here yeah. it's when they say when they say sarai sahari sahara sarah too yeah, even for myself, like my is, oh my gosh sabrina Sabrina. Sabrina. Who, who's Sabrina? Sabrina. So I'm gonna call yeah. Sabrina. So I'm gonna call She's Sabrina. in elevator. She said, "Your aunt of Sabrina." No, I said yes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing. Like they always butch her, but she'll be like, "Yeah, that's yeah, me. that's me." You know, like because it doesn't because that's me. Yeah, I, 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 it doesn't matter. If you, you, no. you understood what they're saying. You get what they're implying. Just no. no who who cares if they, they say your name or they recognize yeah, they you? Recognize that's you. all. That's that's that. It's all love at the end. Of that's day. what. Yeah, Sarah too. I have forty five seconds to end this podcast. Wow, this is a good one, man. This is a good one. The e yes, this it was. Is a good one. Two hours? Oh, it's just mo it's close. Sarah Lee, thank you so much. Sarah Lee. I love you. <laughs> I will give you sexy time tonight for this. Woo! Uh, Josh Leva. God, I'm so single. Um, an amazing episode. <laughs> love it. Episode love 73. It. Yes, sir. Once again, you guys can catch us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or here on the wonderful world of YouTube where you can see our beautiful faces. You already know what the drill is. Subscribe to the channel. And once again, un aplauso. One more shot. One more shot. One last shot. Fuck One it. last shot, but Fuck we it. might not be on there because it is done. Have a good day. Mondays don't suck. We love you guys. Un besito y un mm. virtual hug. Y nos vemos en la it's próxima done. plática. It's Adiós. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Damn, I didn't say it. <laughs> the title cards over all of this. I got the audio though.